Introducing the new Lockbox web portal, featuring a user-friendly interface, one-click options, faster daily reporting, and more efficient daily processing. The new dashboard displays your total daily deposit for dollar amount, number of batches, total number of checks, and total number of supporting documents. On the dashboard, the first dash will be similar to the previous dashboard on the previous web portal. Now, on this new web portal, we have one-click options to get to your daily report, along with two graph summaries. One is a daily summary of your deposit in dollar amount and the day specified. Next is a weekly summary in dollar amount and your weekly total. To now get to your daily summary easily, click on one of these four tabs. Here it will show you all of your checks processed for the day. You can download this report as we've done previously, either clicking on the CSV file format or the PDF file format. To get to your check, you can click on any one of these dollar amounts. Here it will show you the breakdown as before with the check image, any key instructions you needed, and any supporting documents. To get to the additional documents, click Additional Documents. It will then show you the supporting documents. For more reporting options, you can click on two different reporting tabs. Here will be a detailed summary report. Here will be your check images report. To click on your financial report for the day or for any other day, click Financial. And here you can search the day you're looking for or you can do a summary report of multiple days. I'm going to click on this intraday so you can see all of the test work that we have in here. Click on Detail, and here will be your detailed summary for multiple batches and multiple days. You can upload this file in a PDF file or your CSV file. As before, it will show you the date process and the batch number, along with the deposit total and the check total. You can scroll up and down to see more batches. Same thing to get to the detailed record. You click on the dollar amount. It will show you the check and the key instructions, along with any additional documents attached. You can do this in financial or non-financial. Up here we have our image print report. Click on financial and select the day you're corresponding with. You can click which batch you'd like to see or if you'd like to see all of them, click print all batches. Select next. If you'd like to include the rear images, Click the box or order by DDA and then hit Generate. Here it will pull up your check images report. You can save or print this report as well. For your search options, you now have a search tab on the top. You can search financial documents, non-financial documents, exceptions, which will take you to the Exception Depot, any downloads, or you can do an advanced search. To get to your Exception Depot, you can click Exception here, or now on the new web portal, you can click, click the Exception tab on the top.
This will also show you how many exceptions you have sitting for inputting. Click on Exceptions, and here it will show you the breakdown of what you have sitting for inputting. To get to each check, click on the dollar amount, and it will take you to the check image. Here you will input the appropriate fields missing, and once completed, you can go up to Accept. If it's a check that you're needing sent back to you and it wasn't able to be inputted, you can click the Reject tab. To get to your alert log, you can now click on Alert. Here it will show you a log of the alert sent and which alert was sent to you. To get your administration tab, go up here to your username and down below will be a drop down. Here you can see your users, any files that you've uploaded, your alerts log, your report configuration screen, your personal user profile. You can also change your password or reset your passcode here. I do want to cover the Report Configuration tab, as some of you may not be as similar with it. So here you can click the options that you would like to have in the report that you're receiving, if it's via transmission file with UBT Lockbox, or if you're exporting it and importing it in the CVS file or the PDF file, just within the web portal. What you have currently set up is the business date, reference number, transaction number, sequence number, record type, and check amount. To get more options, you can click on any one of these, click the arrow of where you would like to go to, and it will send it over now. If you'd like to save it, you just then hit Save. If you want help with this or have questions about it, you can always reach out to your UBT Lockbox staff. I hope this video tutorial will help you out with one step, an easy step instructions. We are proud to introduce you to the new Lockbox web portal. For further help, please contact your UBT Lockbox staff.